starts out with his analysis. Here we go. And um, I know it's hard for academics to be biased but when it comes to Takashi 69. Come on. Because they may have together. Takashi 69 took him to the Dominican Republic to get his body done. That's what you do to your bitches, right? So that's what he did. Hey, all this fear and love and war and all this fear and parody. By the way, I can imagine Charlamagne was probably fucking heated when I was clowning around his reaction or him being quote unquote sunned or whatever by Takashi. So that little shot right there, it's all in the game. You feel me? A little rib shot is cool. I'm not being offended by that, trust me. Okay. Deal with that. Right, so I saw. Uh, 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 no, no, so, so I saw. I saw act <laughs> Andrew with the weak ass. I, I don't take that. Charmaine always is firing shots, like not even shots, but a little. little it's a joke. It's a joke. Say, <laughs> I saw Ak say that. I saw Ak say that Takashi spun me. And, and by the way, by the way, by the way, <laughs> I just like showing the, the, the flip side to the coin, where he said uh, Takashi flew you out to the Dominican Republic like one of his bitches, which is not true, but fine. But I can say, well, Drake sent a bunch of bottles to you in the midst of his beef, like a bunch of bitches in a club, and you were rocking with Drake. Again, it's tit for tat. That's why I take no offense to it. But I'm going to show you the flip side of everything he pretty much said. Let's keep going. But it was a lot of holes in Takashi's argument. Okay. So that's it. Like, I'm not... And that is right. I, I said that... Um, Takashi kind of spun him, but there's a lot of holes in Takashi's argument. Takashi didn't come in there with, like, fucking bulletproof answers. My, o my overall point... Charlemagne Breakfast Club, super unprepared. I don't think they're following these new artists. I think the intern or whoever they got up there, like the many interns, probably give them a sheet like, yo, this is the new person you're talking to. They ask questions. And if the person's savvy enough, savvy enough, they fucking finesse him through the whole thing. And that's what happened, pretty much. Not, I, I'm not going to try to uh, uh, prove that you're lying. Like, you know, you can't, you can't, like... Uh, the burden of proof is on you, though. I don't know what, I don't know. Okay, then they get into this whole thing about should Charlemagne have been more prepared or whatnot. I really don't care about that part. What else because I, I don't if, know what else to if say. you don't prove that he's lying, then you just look like you got exposed for not doing research. Listen, the guy told me that I know somebody I don't know. Right. Which was coming. Maybe he assumes that she's 16. So I thought that was... Maybe he assumes that she's 16. I don't know how to speak English, but it's... If I don't come with, like, facts and research behind my right. shit, you could smoke me. So what are the facts? What are the facts of the guy? It, this is the sad part. Even after the interview, show me exactly what, what's the fact. Guys, you put kids. That's what you didn't have. They are. Andrew shows right. All right. They you are. Just no, said, you were like, you're a pedophile. And he's like, well, I know, no, no. I asked him. I said, are you a registered sex, sex offender? offender? By right. the way, that's the only thing he said in the interview that made total sense to me. I actually, and people were giving him flack for that. I actually thought what he said in that case was super Completely accurate. Reasonable. Young kid, slept with a girl, didn't know what her age was. And that, again, shows the unpreparedness of Charmin in the Breakfast Club. Takashi never said he slept with a girl. You're just wrong. Again, you're, you're clearly just making shit up. He said he was in a viral video with her. If you look at the case, which they probably don't care to look at, but that's the exact reason you got bodied, he never had sex with the chick. The chick was exposed in a video that went viral, and he was in the background, and he, no, he didn't film it, but he uploaded it to his social media. He never had sex with her. So again, you're acting like after the fact, you're, oh, it makes sense now. No, it didn't make sense, because you still don't get the details of the case. Stop it. Sure. Didn't have any money. Sure. Couldn't afford a lawyer. Then they go into why he took the plea. Skip passes. Sex offender. Right. And you say why he used to wear the colors. Crips to that round okay. was he and well for that young man. Skipping past the this whole Crip blood thing, I really don't care about it. Okay. Salute to all the Crips and Bloods who watch me. Keep banging in the comment section. I love y'all. And guess what? I don't want to are directed towards you. That's not true. Let this one is, by the way, this one is still directed towards then they start arguing about was Charmaine the main focus of the interview. I don't know. Uh, again, I think Andrew Schultz's point was that uh, he didn't address Charmaine a lot. He addressed the other two people, and it was his way of kind of either belittling him or kind of making the focus just on him. Whatever the case is, clearly it, it was about Charlemagne, and they got at Charlemagne on, on social media, which Charmaine did say, and I agree with Charmaine with that. So, by the way, I could be fair. Uh, I get but, what you're saying, but enough about rap. He's been shot. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. He has been shot. People okay. are in jail doing life sentences for this. Like, Okay, I'm skipping past some parts, but I'm, I'm giving you a real quick summary. Andrew Schultz basically asked if the game is a real gang member and blah, blah, blah. And is he that much different from Takashi? Um, Shulman had a great response to that. The West Coast culture, niggas have died. They've fucking carried casket, paid for funerals, blah, 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 blah. Because 
that it's real to them. So if somebody's playing around with it, they're going to be offended, whether you believe they're real or not. Good point. Let's this is very. The gang, I don't know if the gangbangers are the ones doing the black power. Learned about him, but you genuinely got this is off air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, okay, here we go. You, fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just uh, live, live, live for it for seven days. That's all out when the mics were off. I just, want to, I just want to throw that out. And it's fine to be indiscreet. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You know, sometimes you got to save people from themselves. Pump the brakes on him talking shit about Wait, this. wait, wait. Here we go. And maybe I, I shouldn't be, you know, sharing right. go ahead, you know, go ahead. private thoughts, but it's an interesting thing that there was no animosity after this, this interview. So when you say you truly hope nothing bad happens to him, the energy was kept when the mics were off. Oh, listen, the reason I don't that's, have... That's what I'm trying absolutely. to say. Is that clear? Yeah, the reason I don't have any animosity towards him, because I don't see what other people see, and that's fine yeah. when it comes to art. You know what I mean? Because I, I do look at interviews as art. So if I put an interview out and one person has one perspective, oh, Takashi got the best of Charlamagne. Yeah. Uh, somebody else got another perspective, and they're like, yo, Charlamagne was really trying to give him some OG wisdom, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool with either. Yeah. Or if some people are just indifferent, I'm fine with either. Like, like none of it means anything to me. Like, I don't take any of it in. Like... Stop it. Charlamagne been on social media defending this interview and trying to counteract why he, someone didn't get the best of him for the last four days. While he's right with what he's saying now, his actions on social media and the constant defending of how you did an interview say completely otherwise. All right, let's just be honest. Like, it's all it's all good. Whatever you feel about the interview, fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just uh, live, live, live for it for seven days. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? Do your parody videos. Do your memes. Salute right. to Gary Owen coming in dressed up as Takashi 69. You ready for this? Nine. I'm with all of that. But I genuinely feel like he was a good kid. And that's what that's what hurts. And by the way, when the interview was completely over, yeah. when the interview was completely over, Takashi goes, yo, you know, I'm just, I'm just out here trying to get ratings, man. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get ratings for the show, whatever, whatever. Like, cool. Like, and, I, and I'm like, but that's, my, and I said to him once again, but that's my thing. Everybody not playing. You playing, but everybody else not playing. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And I told Act the same thing this weekend, because Act hit me up, and Act was like, you know. Which I told y'all, I hit Charlamagne up, because I don't like a liar attached to my name when I try to just operate on a fucking independent axis where I don't have to lie. I don't, uh, he was like, I didn't tell Takashi that, whatever, whatever. He was like, for the record, I ain't tell Takashi that, blah, blah, blah. The same thing he said on the video, he, he said to me on, on the text. And then I was like, yo, he seemed like a good kid, man. If that's really your man, pump the brakes. Yeah. I'm putting out all that negative shit about him all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pump the brakes on him. Sometimes you got to save people from themselves. Hey, I, I do want to address this point because I didn't address it the last time when Charlamagne mentioned it in the interview with Takashi. There was a point where, and I guess I, I do believe it was completely out of self-defense where the whole scum gang thing came up and Charlamagne made a comment saying, well, if academics told you that version, he's a lying-ass nigga, which, by the way, he just recanted. I explained it. He's basically co-signed that. I explained it correctly, so I didn't lie, right? But he then looked at Takashi and he says, if Takashi, he says, you know, academics is going to get you hurt. And to me, that comment struck me as super weird because... Uh, again, and you're going to hear later on someone comes in and say, if you ever watch Academic's video, he's not encouraging Takashi. There's nothing publicly other than reposting, which he does with everything on Instagram. Everything. I mean, it doesn't matter who, doesn't matter if I know them or not, I repost everything on Instagram. But when you look at his videos, he's kind of like even talking down on Takashi and saying, you're doing some dumb shit, right? However, that particular comment to say if something happens to Takashi, I'm at blame is the exact equivalent of me saying Tax Stone being in jail is, is Charlemagne's fault. And I know he would not sit there and never take responsibility for that. He put Tax Stone on. Let's be clear. Tax Stone was on your platform. Loudspeaker Networks, which is you control it. If you say you heard a podcast where he was popping too much shit or starting some beef or maybe getting him into some shit that could get violent, you could have decided that that's not going out. But you didn't. You never said, oh, fuck with you, my man, blah, blah, blah. But we're not publishing this. Y'all published as a company, Loudspeaker Networks, everything he said. And by the way, some of the things allegedly that he said on his podcast that came on the, the, the company that you are a part of will be used in court. So if you're blaming shit that Takashi might get into on me, please tell me you're standing uh, accountability. And if you are... Then we have a different discussion. If you're saying, yo, I'm partly responsible for where Tax Stone is now, right? And keep in mind, by the way, 
Um, because we're going to get into this industry talk soon. I know about that I've met more than just in the everyday struggle setting. Two rappers. Takashi's probably the only one I've ever, like, met instead of, like, face him. I face him Yadi a good amount. I face him Ugly God. I never met Ugly God in person. But, but, but Takashi lives in Brooklyn, and I, I've seen him a couple times, right? Now, I don't know anyone else. And, and I'm, I'm just paralleling this to the Touchstone situation. Because if you're saying I'm responsible for anything that happened to this nigga, you are absolutely responsible for why Touchstone is in jail. And... You're even more responsible because you knew both parties, including Troy Ave. And you could say, oh, well, I told Tax Stone, blah, blah, blah. But if you do the research on what I've told Takashi, I've said the same thing. I've said, this is not going to end well. This is going to probably lead you to not being able to get shows in L.A. It's going to lead to you being hurt or somebody else being hurt around you. I've never said anything different, which if I remembered you're saying, and you're going to hear him say because I'm going to play it, he says he said the same thing to Tax Stone. So how could you wipe your hand clean and then not even show up to the interview with the guy? And by the way, keep in mind, you know both of these guys. Uh, the Game was, is one of my favorite rappers in the world. I love The Game's music way more than Takashi's music. You get me? I've never really met Game. I'm not cool with Game like that. We've DM'd a couple times, but that was when he was sending me stuff about um, his issues with Meek Miller, whatever. But in reality, I don't know The Game. I don't really know YG. I don't know these other guys who Takashi's had a problem with. So it's easier for Takashi to get information to me than those other guys. You know Troy Ave. <laughs> you know Taxstone. You gave a platform to Taxstone. Basically, we saw what happened, and you could take no blame. But <laughs> the guy who only reposts shit that either he says or anybody says, and I know one side... Right? I don't know either. You get me? I'm to be blamed? Very hypocritical. And I had to point that out, and I let that slide last time because I said, not going to do that. But you can't sit here and say that I'm, that I'm to be blamed for a nigga getting in trouble without saying, it's not like I, I made an Instagram account for Takashi or I signed Takashi. If y'all find a paperwork that me and Takashi got together where I'm his manager, his publisher, I get 10% off a song, a deal, blah, blah, blah. Please let me know. Please expose me. Zero of that happens, okay? This is the quote-unquote relationship, what y'all want to um, call it. I need content daily, usually almost hourly. Takashi loves to give content daily, almost hourly. It's a symbiotic relationship. One provides, one needs. One needs, the other provides. And it goes back and forth. I'm not making, so, you know what I mean, um, I just wanted to put that point out there, so if, if this is, uh, if we continue this conversation, I want to hear, I want to hear this conversation be continued, how could you bring yourself back, and by the way, the reason, one of the reasons why you didn't show up to the interview with Troy Ave is because it is a conflict of interest, Tax is your guy, gave him a platform, you stated publicly you would help him with bail, despite you always claiming you don't know what happened, Right? And also, you then claiming you want justice to happen. You get me? So, again, you're more intertwined in that situation than I could ever be with, with, with 6 9 And you would say, I would be the problem that something happens, or I would be the blame if six, something happened to 6 9 But you take zero responsibility for anything, or tax has been in jail for the last year, and salute to tax, I do not want this to be anything disrespectful, um, I don't know that man, he seems like a very entertaining guy on Twitter, but I'm just speaking on facts, okay, are we gonna be fair, or are we just gonna spin narrative, I don't like the narrative being spin, especially when you could conveniently absolve yourself, and then say, attack academics, no, 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 let's keep it going, pump the brakes on him talking shit about people who uh, pump the brakes on him saying... You see, everything he's saying, we could have looked at Charmaine and said, yo, why don't you pump the brakes on Tax Stone tweeting at, at, at Troy Ave every time? Why don't you pump the brakes on Tax Stone talking down on his podcast, which you host that, the, that, that platform? Why didn't you just say, we're not publishing this. This is destructive. We're not putting this as out because you guys are a media company. You guys never said that. But... It's convenient to say, act, pump the brakes on him talking shit. 
And he's going to bring up the fact that I had that conversation with him to say, I tell him, I warn him, but he's going to do what he wants to do. And the people behind him, y'all saw me talk to him and the guy called Treyway. Y'all saw me have a conversation with him, with them on here. I told them everything that I think that might happen. I t told them I'm scared for them, blah, blah. And they all said, yo, this nigga got the best protection in the world, Treyway. What am I supposed to say? Uh, what do you want me to say? <laughs> so, so let's keep playing. Test my gangster, like just if that's your man, right? And so he was like, matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm tell you what he said. Yeah, you texted, you, you sent me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to misquote, uh, act. I don't want to misquote him at all, cause I, I don't have any problems with academics. I know everybody trying to make it seem like me and academics got problems. Uh, and, and, and also, this is true. Me and Sean May don't have problems. I don't know why. I believe Joe Button, who usually shoots from the hip, um, in his podcast, who tries to be like the oracle of hip hop, because they they usually are ahead of a lot of people. They kind of put it out there, and people have been just looking at different things to think that me and Sean May have problems. Me and Sean May. We just don't communicate as frequently as we did before. We used to talk at least every week. We haven't talked for a couple of months. I haven't seen that he has any ill will against me, and I've never had any ill will against him. So this whole thing of we're beefing, I think that is just made up. And, of course, like people will take this back and forth as, oh, this is a beef. But no. Again, my name came up in the interview. Charlemagne was defending himself. He called me a liar. He later then said, okay, he wasn't lying, but still, there are certain things about blah, blah, blah. And now I'm responding. We're responding in a public sphere. It's not beefing. Okay? Uh, as far as I know, we don't. But he just said, yo, I try to warn him. He's like I said, I try to warn him. He literally drives off the controversy. He said, I always reported stuff like this. Now I just try to be as neutral as possible. I worry for him. But he has tons of people around him who co-sign him on all the stuff that he's saying. Uh, I don't. I don't think being in the pool with him while he touches your leg is neutral, but <laughs> right. But I get it. You know what I'm saying. And that, and and and, and, that, and, and listen, that's the other thing too. Salute to act. You, you, uh, it's, you can't say you're not industry when you're hanging out with rappers in pools. I don't know if this was a trigger point. Money, I'm self-made at this point. I don't give a fuck if y'all say I'm industry in a relationship with. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you feel me? All that industry talk is for y'all niggas. Basically, I'm going to tell y'all what it is. Y'all have these publicists and whatever that book all y'all guests to come to the breakfast club or whatever. Nigga, if I'm going to get little Pump on here, yes, I have to fucking text little Pump. Yo, you want to get on and play Fortnite? Yes, if you consider that, me, that, that I'm compromised or fucking... Um, industry i don't give a fuck it doesn't it means nothing to me again a lot of these terms and i've probably said that yo i'm not industry whatever and if y'all do want to believe i'm industry don't care to me it really don't matter because i was watching the radio niggas basically say that and i was like okay i'm like staying very distant from it but if y'all want to be honest and know the truth i communicate with a good amount of these rappers you know why i've learned that my reporting gets better it's one thing to shoot from the hip and report some shit about X and not really know his side because he doesn't say much. Rather than I could call him and I could look him in his eye and ask him and I could still report the other side and then report what X said to me. It's the same thing with Takashi. It's the same thing with Ugly Guys. It's the same thing with Yachty. It's the same thing with Tory Lanez. I could text Tory Lanez like, yo, Tory, bro, what happened with that Travis shit? Why'd you, like, were you just faking because you had 10 niggas in the room and he had nobody? And Travis could say, no, actually all the niggas in the room was with him. And I, I and it could give me context. If that's industry, <laughs> sign me up. But I give a fuck about this industry conversation. This is what I'm like, niggas who's in whatever. I don't care. Call me industry or not. One thing, just call me successful. <laughs> okay? I just want to throw that out. And it's fine to be industry. Yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with being industry. Like, I used to think it was something wrong with being industry, too. But we are the industry. What Actum do is a new model of the industry. You know what I'm he has a slight point with that. Slight point. You know what I'm saying? And okay. it serves a purpose. You know what I'm saying? So we got to stop saying we're industry. Now, do I think that they've created their own industry? Absolutely. Do I think that they've created their own industry that uh, has a place within the culture and, 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 and other aspects of the industry? Absolutely. Okay. Because people pay attention to everything. People pay attention to the shit that they're doing. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. just stop saying you're not industry because you're industry. If you're in the pool with rappers yeah. and rappers are touching your leg, and then you're jumping in the pool with your shirt on because you got to take your shirt off because you haven't got your body done yet in DR. You know what I'm saying? It's 
Those aren't shots, by the way. I'm going to maintain that that's just like joking. Um, Charlemagne, which if, I, that's what I'm saying, this is jokes. Just because the reason why Charlemagne called an L to Takashi is because he got trolled. And if you're thinking that I'm uploading a video to Instagram, if you, by the way, I think some of y'all have seen my hairline. It's not even that bad. But I've lived with the whole fucking internet saying it's the worst thing ever looking like Stephen A. Smith for the longest because I don't care. Whatever your narrative is, I could fucking feed into it. And I'm glad I had that bad and bougie shirt. Like, everything in that fucking little skate y'all saw, you fucking did. I went to get a shirt <laughs> for the fucking joint. And by the way, we were filming a music video. We're filming a music video. Um, if you want to call that whatever it is, whatever it is. And, and, and I said... Actually, I came up with the idea. I said, I said, watching how triggered everybody on social media is about this, we need to spoof this shit. And I said, how can we spoof it? The only thing I fucked up, though, because I should have had my hat on. But my hat was wet from another shit we did. So I meant to have my hat on. That hat, that shirt, and I told him, like, we told the lines. It was like, yo, I'm going to act like, um, no, you need to play me out like you don't know who I am and fucking... Like, point to the bad and bougie shit and be like, that's the only way you know how. Because that's the same thing you did the show, man, by saying, nigga, I only know you for the radio show. If you want to take it as whatever, it's cool. Um, let's keep listening. You're indiscreet. <laughs> and it's fine. It's cool to be indiscreet. It's perfectly fine. Is, do you think you, do you think it's something wrong being indiscreet? Um, I, I never understand. Hey, somebody just said in the chat, I'm slim thick. I'm not fat, bro. I'm slim thick. Okay. And by the way, which I know a lot of y'all are very, like, very, like, fucking uh, sensitive or like uh, homophobic or whatever. Number one, I didn't even notice that Takashi like even grabbed me or whatever, but the nigga can't swim. The f nigga is fucking like he's, we're in a 10 feet part of the pool and the nigga can't swim so his life, car life jacket is holding him up and he's trying not to float away and stay within frame. So he, he, he touches or grabs my leg like twice for fucking stabilization. Doesn't matter if people care about that. Actually, it's better if they don't. Because to, to be honest, the video was meant to be viral and it fucking went viral. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care. So that what, what that was about. I get it. I can understand. I, 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 so I guess the I connotation it. is that you can't be objective if you're in the industry. All right. Let me, um, I'm going to skip through this because I think I heard most of this already. No, I haven't heard the rest. But I just want to get the parts about me. Niggas ain't friends. They're not a pretend. That is so motherfucking true. But Mike Kaiser has never been that way. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. So I always got the utmost respect for Kaiser. Kaiser works at Atlantic Records, right? Now, anybody who knows me knows I've been championing Cardi B way before she had a record deal. I've been right. saying Cardi B for president. Cardi B's our lord and savior. Everybody like, oh, you trolling, you trolling with that Cardi B shit. I'm like, no, this girl is a star, mm -hmm. right? Had her on the breakfast club way before she was signed to Atlantic or whatever. Sure. Now that she's on Atlantic, and I still champion her the way that I've been championing her, I'm on Atlantic's payroll. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I mean, I think Charlemagne just proved his own point. Real. If you ask me, me, me and um, Takashi, outside of the music stuff, we're cool. I get it. You saw us in a pool. I get it. You see us around together. I don't know other rappers. By the way, a couple other rappers they was trying to hang out too. But, um... You know what I mean? It's just building relationships. If you want to say that I'm biased, I don't give a fuck. I, like, I, again, I'm, I'm trying to get to the place. No, actually, I'm not trying to get to the place. I wish I w it was like six months ago when I would be like fucking incredibly Hulk, incredible Hulk, you know what I mean? Like, now, I'm like, what are you talking about? My main thing was just that don't be blaming or saying that I'm to be blamed for that 6 9 shit. If you don't stand up, put your hand up and say, Troy Ave and Tax Stone... I could have avoided if I paid attention, if I stepped in. And by the way, let's not act like people didn't look at Troy uh, Taxstone on social media and say, this is only going to end this way too. The same way they're saying about 6 9 So, So you, could, you probably were in a more prime position than me. Just don't blame me. If we're going to take blame, let's take blame together. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the mutual blame. Okay? Now, if you want to say, I take blame for it, so I'm... Instructing you differently, of course, and then even then, I would probably say how move differently. Um, then we can have a discussion about that. Okay, let, let me see. Is there any parts, more parts about this? I only listened up to this part, so I don't know if there 
they're talking about me for the rest of the shit. Well, yeah. If you really felt it was stupid, then you wouldn't talk about it. I didn't retweet tax. When tax be wildin'? Yeah. Stop it, bro. You know that nigga was wildin'. You know he was wildin' on your platforms. You know he was making threats on the platforms that you control. You did nothing. Stop it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It, like, it's not that, first of all, if 6 ix 9 was signed to me and I was, like, getting a hidden check, which, by the way, if Tax had a, had a fucking sponsorship, nigga, you got to check off that. I don't get I don't get a check off no rapper unless I make my own check. You feel me? Tax Stone was... 6 ix 9 ain't selling me. I'm not his manager. You know what I mean? Like... I could be honest with you, he has asked me because there is some internal stuff going on with him now in terms of business, and he asks me, he says, what do you think I should do? And and I, I try to tell him that he should get with the right people to make sure his business is right. I'm pretty sure if I ever looked at him and said, if I was a greedy motherfucker, I could say, nigga, I'll be a manager, or I'll be this for you, or I'll be your PR guy, and I could get a check, but no, I think that would make me compromise because I'm literally getting a check because of his efforts. I'm the media. However this shit play out. Number one, I get paid regardless. Number two, and, and that doesn't absolve me from whatever happens, but um, I don't have to tie, I, I don't have to fucking um, live and die on 6 9 being hot. I've always said, like, I've covered hella people when Chief Keef was hot. When he wasn't hot anymore, I wasn't done. You know what I mean? Like, I covered a hot person, whoever the fuck the hot person is. If, if tomorrow... Rapper A becomes the hot person. Well, Takashi gonna be out of luck. You feel me? I'm covering a hot person. That's just what it is, my nigga. Anyway, let me just skip through this. <laughs> oh, it never so gets refreshed. old. Don't don't start caring. But I'm just so saying, it never refreshed. gets old. Cause, I, cause, cause I'm always it's righteous ratchet. Oh. Are you serious? Bro. And he was like, man, coughing my friend. Uh, <laughs> what is still interview? <laughs> Berman. Here's the thing with the Berman interview. The reason Breakfast Club. <laughs> I asked. Hey, this is almost. Saying that, listen. By the way, I disagree with anyone who feels like Charlemagne took the L career-wise. On an ego level, yes. But this is career-wise. This is fucking licking. You're licking your chops. I can tell y'all for complex. Y'all remember? Y'all might be like, "Yo, well, Vic Mensa came in here and called you a bitch." Man, Complex saw them fucking views. And of course, they got to consider me because I could say, nigga, this is not good for my brand. Peace. But other than that, nigga, they were fucking enjoying those views. Same thing with 6 9 Like, iHeartMedia and the Power 105, the station itself, and the producers and all the people above it, and the Breakfast Club itself, the, the, the host, they're loving it. So I, I don't believe career-wise this is anything but a W for them. But, of course, if you're explaining yourself 50 minutes into a podcast, it's about an ego. No one has ever had you looking like this where you're spinning and twirling like a ballerina, and that's what you're doing. But, anyway. Let's Some few questions. questions. My heart started really pulling shit down. That shit has 62 million views. Really? See, Charmaine's going out his way, but like, no, Takashi will never have the number one view thing. Nigga, who cares? Like, he made a... Like, to be honest, nobody will care enough to look four months down the line to see if Takashi had the number one. The nigga proved his point by just getting, like, four million in a day. It was like, oh, shit, this is super viral. That nigga told you he was going to do some shit? That shit's super viral. People have short-term memory. Niggas is on to the next interview y'all might have, the next Monique moment or the next Takashi moment. Yes, that did before... What happened... What was happening... With Troy and Tax serious enough? Right. You know what I mean? Yep. yep. So, oh, they did talk about this. I didn't get too hey, far. God bless everybody involved. And that prayer was very uh, authentic. I really meant that prayer from Brian Houston to Takaji Takaji. Ah, uh, shit. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, I'm glad he's talking about the Troy and whatever situation. This, okay, because you was on Everyday Struggle saying what you want to say, mm -hmm. and on your uh, your Twitch saying what you want to say. Oh, so wait. don't get upset. You, mm -hmm. you said you said I, you said Takashi spun me around like a ballot. Oh, hold on, I didn't hear this part. I love this. Like anytime I talk to anybody, the ultimate win is Breakfast Club. Can I spell it out, please? R E V E N U E. Did I spell revenue right? <laughs> Just making sure. I don't give a fuck. Like people, I didn't. What y'all know what I meant, all right? I don't care. I, no like, I thought you were talking about a new rapper. Yeah, but I, I, like like I said, uh, I, I do, I do want to be wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't want the brother to get hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you that 
it's a certain energy you put out there that sure. always comes back to you. And yeah. we all sat back and didn't take, you know, what happened, what was happening with Troy and Tax. I ain't gonna let Charmin get off the hook on that. Charmin gotta stand up and take accountability for that shit if he throwing me in, in, in this Takashi shit because I don't think this shit gonna end well neither. <laughs> right? So, if you try to throw this on me because you know what's gonna happen? Takashi might get locked up and I hope it doesn't. Clearly. Takashi might get knocked out. And I hope it doesn't. But you know what? You know what this is setting up for? This is the this is the alley you. I told y'all about act. Fuck that. <laughs> Take responsibility for Troy Ave and Tax Stone, because I stayed far the fuck out of that, okay? Charlemagne, I, I, listen, you had the power, and don't tell me you weren't paying attention, because you watch everything. If you go watch my Twitch, you definitely listen to your mans on your platform, slander, and say what he would do to Troy Ave every time he saw him. So don't play that game, buddy. I'm just keeping a hundred. Let's be honest. If we gonna be fair, we could be fair. Again, I don't come on here and just fucking act like I'm an angel. Everybody plays a soapbox thing. I don't like that shit. Okay? I don't like the soapbox thing. Yeah, I have nothing to do with the Troy having tax stone thing, but if if, if, if sometimes it's Takashi, it's act fault. What? If if I sign if I if I sign if I sign six nine maybe. If I had points on this deal like Trippy Red does. Maybe. If I fucking got money off his shows, maybe. No, I'm a fucking media platform. The same way y'all, the same way. And, and, and you know, I was glad that the Breakfast Club interviewed him. Because what does Charmaine just spell out? Revenue. R-E-V-E-N-U-E. -E -E. He never disrespected YG on my platform. He went on your platform and did it. And what you said, revenue. So if YG, and God forbid, I don't want this to happen. If something happens because of that. Isn't your platform the platform that facilitated that? Not mine. Yours. So again, the same shit you're blaming me, it would be cool to be on the soapbox if you didn't give him the interview and you didn't bring up every beef that he had. Every beef. I don't even think I talked to him on, on, on even my Twitch about the 6 9 no, 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 the uh, game beef. Y'all did. I don't think I talked to him about the YG beef because we, shit, we went to DR. Y'all did. So again, am I talking lies or am I talking facts? Don't, you spelled it out. Revenue. That Breakfast Club interview will probably get as much views as all my videos on 6 9 Well, actually, the first interview where he was trying to clear his name got a lot, but whatever. So if you're saying that, oh, Ak, you've kind of profited off this. Man, y'all invite him up to the breakfast club. If if, if that was y'all stance, don't invite him. Don't invite him. I don't care how hot he is. If if you want to be on a soapbox, do not invite him to the breakfast club. Or if he gets there, say, we want to talk music, no beefs. Because, I, cause, I mean, I'm not going to say I don't cover beefs. I cover beefs. If a nigga say, I covers beefs, I would say, yes, I cover beefs. And I mentioned music too, and I and I try to keep it balanced. But yes, beefs are a part of it. I'm guilty. I'll take it. But don't. I'm not into nobody being on a soapbox. This interview, and we could talk about how viral it's going. It's huge for the Breakfast Club. But the same accountability you try to throw to me, you gotta take it too, because you invited him up for the interview that popped off. <clears throat> Let me give you even more of that. And I did the video. If you watch my video on my YouTube channel, I said. The reason why YG came out and said, fuck 6 9 you know why he said that? And show him the answer to it or anybody at the breakfast club. There was word that got out before that interview went